Hello everyone, welcome back to the Revival, the final episode of the week, and it should be a good one. We're playing Valencia at St. James's Park. It's match day four in the Champions League. A win today will see us through to the later stages of the competition. After his fantastic performance last time out, I am putting Zakaria right back into the team. Willems is looking a little bit shady, plus his stamina isn't too great at the moment, so Machia is going to come in for him. And Wanfran, who has been so impressive since signing for us from the youth team, is going to play in the place of Henriks, who is looking like he needs a bit of a rest. Now, as for what we're going to do with the bench, I think Henriks can play on both sides of defence, so he'll give us better cover than Willems will. I won't bring him off the bench unless I absolutely have to, though. Uh, Lascelles, I'm tempted actually to change things around in the centre of defence as well. I know this is an important game, but we've seen before that our second string are actually more than good enough. Almiron can play in the Nkunku role, and Nkunku will make way for Vinicius Jr. And Paredes, I think I'm going to play on the right instead of Farfan. Actually, no, let's give Farfan a go. Come on. Come on, you've got to have a good game, though. If he doesn't perform by half-time, we're bringing him off and Paredes is coming on. So there we go. Uh, it's time for Valencia to play in their away strip. It's a shame that they're not play they haven't got an away strip that is Valencia Orange. That's a real pity. But they do have a blue version of the kit that we have. So they're going to end up playing in blue today. It's not a traditional Valencia colour as far as my memory serves. I would remember them more so playing in either orange or almost entirely black. But certainly not blue. Although I think there is a little bit of blue in the club badge if I remember correctly. Maybe I'm having a little bit of a Mandela effect moment. We'll have to see when the screen comes up here. Yeah, there is a little bit of blue in the badge, just along the band where the Valencia CF is written. Okay, so it's not completely unusual for them to have a blue kit, I guess. But here we go, Lascelles back in the starting lineup. Good performance from him today, could secure a big money move to another team. We are still looking to uh, move him on if we can. It's nothing personal, I do like him as a player, but he's not getting any better and we need to start making room in the squad for other players who can come in and strengthen us. Oh, and Valencia are off to a strong start. Having won the ball back straight away, they're hitting us on the break. Although we win the ball back fairly fairly straightforward. Win back of the ball, I have to say. Into Zakaria, who's going to look up and see if he can play a pass. He sees Almiron ahead of him, and he does so. Out wide to Machia. Nice little dinked cross, played across the park. Farfan, Farfan, off the post. And Valencia not wasting time in getting the ball forward, it has to be said. We're going to have to keep an eye on that. Macho on the left-hand side again, plays it to Almiron, who moves it infield to Shelby. Shelby across to Wanfran. There's the run from Farfan. Crosses the ball in. It's a good cross. Defender just getting ahead of Werner, meaning that he's unable to apply the finish. And on the other flank, Junior doing a very good job of cutting out the passing option, forcing them to play it back and arresting the break. That was pretty poor. But Almiron does win the ball back, so I'll forgive him. Now, bombing down the left flank, as he likes to do sometimes. Plays it into Werner, who's drifted out from his favoured central position. Almiron, Vinicius Jr., he's gone the turn. He's got, oh, he's got a good goal there. He just used his strength to hold the man off. He turned him inside the box and then he saw his chance and he took it. It's not exactly a clinical finish. It was far too close to the goalkeeper for that to be a good 
effort at a save. I think the goalkeeper is going to have to look at him himself. Although he was that far off his line, he didn't have enough time to react particularly. It's a simple goal. Some would call it a cheap goal, but I would say that Junior has absolutely carved out that chance for himself. And he's on a bit of a streak at the moment, having scored two goals in the last match and two goals in a game earlier in the season, only a few games ago. I'd be, I wouldn't be surprised if when we look at the goal-scoring charts, he's right up there for top goal scorer at the club. That's a good blind pass. Just unable Junior to get hold of the ball, unfortunately. But I'll tell you what, Macha on this left-hand side doing fantastic job of intercepting the ball. Oh, that's great. It's that a good pass. It's a good finish. It's a goal for Farfan, and that means he stays on. I'm happy for the lad. He's deserved a goal. Good movement and a good finish. You can't argue with those results. It's an interesting finish. He almost jumps in the air and controls it with his foot during the jump and then just swings his right foot through it. It's almost like a bicycle kick. Shelby very high up the pitch. He obviously wants in on this. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Our second string, more than capable of playing a game and winning against most teams. Good defending, puts it out for a corner. We're going to have to be alive to uh, the set piece. Oh, missed the header. And if someone else in the in blue had been a bit more alive to where the ball was going, we could have been in trouble, but we retrieve it. And Macho now on the left flank, plays it up to Werner, who will look to hold it up slightly, plays it into Vinicius Jr. He can use his pace to escape his marker. Into Farfan now. The pass is a little loose, and Valencia are able to take the opportunity to break on us. Playing down the right wing. It's a loose ball. Newcastle pick up. And now we can try and hit Valencia on the break instead. It's a very good long ball, that. Defender does very well to head it away and for it to end up in the possession of another Valencia player. But Newcastle able to take the ball now and we're moving forward with it, trying to open up an opportunity for us to score a goal. Another goal, a third goal. Reverse ball out to Juan Fran. He's a little bit too tightly marked. He might try crossing it with his left. He does. It's a good header. Juan Fran's left foot decent and there's a foul from the Valencia player meaning a free kick in a reasonably dangerous area for Newcastle I have to say if I was on the other end of that I wouldn't be particularly happy Ball comes loose. Newcastle pick it up and we go again. Shelby now down the right-hand side. He's been absolutely everywhere so far today. Oh! Whoa -hoo. A placed finish which stretched the goalkeeper. Almiron just shows a little bit too much of that ball to the defender and he loses it. Oh, it's Thibaut. Manages to wander into trouble, but he's rescued by the whistle. It's half-time. It's 2-0 to Newcastle. Solid performance so far. Lots of attacking intent, lots of promise. And the defence has done pretty well as well. Valencia have not had a single chance on goal. Off target or otherwise. We'll go straight into the second half. And I think I'm going to go straight ahead and turn off those attacking fullbacks. I'm going to try and save a little bit of our players' stamina and also I hope 
That will make us a little bit more defensively solid on the flanks. Although, to be fair, after that first half, we don't necessarily need to worry about being more defensively solid. We didn't allow them a single chance. But here's a set piece. They float it in. I don't think they're going to be able to make anything of it, and indeed they don't. Oh, that's a good ball out to the left-hand side, and Junior's in space to run now. Whether or not he can find someone is another matter. He drags it back, finds the cross. Valencia able to get it away, but not for long. Newcastle back in control of the ball. Oh, it's a nice one too. Goes out of play for a throw in. Newcastle straight away are going to get back in on it. And nobody able to get hold of it. Just. It's funny how that sometimes just happens. The ball will end up loose in the area, and not a single one of your players will be anywhere near it. Of course, it works both ways. I'm quite happy when it does work in my uh, benefit in the other end of the pitch. Certainly not complaining if uh, anyone feels that I am. It's uh, more a case of just remarking on how it seems to always be the case. And it happens in real football as well, to be fair. number of times that somebody takes a shot and it just ends up rattling around the penalty area. And somehow it's never... Oh my word, that's a bad effort from Werner. <laughs> Somehow it never drops to one of your players. To be fair, at 2-0 up, 60 minutes on the clock, I think maybe we should just allow another player to have a chance and give Werner a little bit of a rest. Uh, normally I would go with Joel Linton, but in this instance I'm really feeling Paredes. So we're going to go with him. We can always move him out onto the flank if we decide to sub off Junior or Farfan later. But right now, I want to give Paredes another chance. A good half hour just to be able to show what he can do. He's quick, but he's strong. He's a bit of a hybrid athlete. Type of striker that every team wants, really. Big and strong, but quick as well. Oh, we've given away a penalty. Not a penalty, a free kick right on the edge of the area. And depending on how their free kick takers are, this could be danger. Come on, Wall, do your job. It does, barely. Goes out for a corner kick. In fact, the Wall didn't do its job at all. It was Dennis Sicaria. No, it wasn't Sicaria. It might have been Tatibo, actually. Strong punch from the goalkeeper. And to Tebow, I think, yes, it was to Tebow, managing to shepherd the ball wide of goal. It will be another corner, this time from the other side. Hopefully we can do a better job of getting the ball out this time. Oh, dear. Well, that will do. Less than ideal, but here's Junior on the ball now, and we've got a chance, and there is... Ooh, that's not the ball I was looking for. I saw Farfan on the right flank and I thought maybe I can float one over to him. Good pressure. Defender forced to put it out for a corner. Here we go. Shelby taking the corner kick. He's going to float it into the box. Valencia first to the loose ball but Newcastle able to win it back. Didn't want to go for the obvious pass, so I thought I'd try to put it out to the flank, but unfortunately it was all a little bit too cramped out there. Players still doing a very good job, making sure that the Valencia players know that they're there, keeping pressure on them, making sure that they don't have an easy out ball. bit of a foul on the player but we kept possession so the referee rate waves play on that's absolutely fine a 
Uh, Zakaria should have kept his run going there. The intention was to play a, a elongated 1-2 involving a third player. It was almost a 1-3-2, a if that makes any sense. Oh, come on. I don't see how that's a free kick either way. That's just two players running into each other. Oof. That's quite nasty, actually. <laughs> Wouldn't be surprised if someone had a concussion coming out of that. Here we go on the far right-hand side, far fan. Ah, no. It was a good pass, but the control let the player down. Does someone want to actually take the ball and keep hold of it? There we go. No, again, it's just not quite coming off for us. I want to play that one too, but it's just not happening. That's good from Machia. Can he keep it in? He can't. It's gone out for a corner. I'm going to take a risk. I know it's not normally the case that managers will make a change while they're expecting a corner to come in. But I do want to make a couple more changes. There we go. Of course, if we concede from this corner, you're all very free to say, I told you so. Good tackle. Uh, I don't know if he was offside there. Apparently not. Either way, the pass wasn't exactly timed right. It's gone out for a throw to Valencia. Three minutes of added time. We're already two and a half into that, so I don't think that they've got enough time to put an attack in. Certainly not when we're tackling like that. And there we go. That's it. And Joe Linton celebrating on the pitch. And the scenes of other players around the pitch mean one thing. And we all knew that this was the case with 12 points. We have qualified from the group stages of the Champions League. Newcastle United for the second year in a row will feature in the knockout stages of the Champions League. The stats make for good reading. Of course, as always, you're more than welcome to hit the pause button. The cell's unfairly treated by the stats there. I'm never going get to get that bloke sold, am I? But attacking-wise, we're very much liked. So there we go, the other result in the group. A bit of a surprise, actually. Olympiacos beating Lazio 1-0. This coming after, was it a 4-0 win for Lazio? 4-1 maybe in the last match? So that's a hell of a turnaround for Olympiacos. Home advantage obviously meaning a lot to them. Uh, feel free to take a look at the other results. So there we go, nothing particularly shocking except for perhaps the fact that Rangers kept Liverpool to a 0-0 draw. Bromby doing themselves a lot more favours this time around, only losing 1-0 to Manchester City. So that is the table as it stands. Of course, with only two games left, it means that we cannot be caught by Lazio or Olympiacos. So we can definitely qualify from the group in either first or second place. It will be our job now to ensure that we do finish first in our group so that we get a favourable draw in the next round. 
looking at the other groups we can see uh, that's pretty tight for second place first place even is a little bit tight uh, Barcelona pretty much bossing their group I expect them to finish first uh, Liverpool, I don't know if we could get Liverpool in the next round I don't know how the coding for this game is but uh, I know that you're not really supposed to play teams from the same league as you in the first knockout round of the Champions League I believe that's the case at least everything going as according to plan there although the Real Madrid have actually lost a game I imagine that was against Benfica but I could be wrong uh, that looks like it's pretty much, yeah, I'm not, uh, Ajax, actually I would expect Ajax to be bossing that group ahead of Genk and Shakhtar, so that's a little bit surprising. Poor old Celtic, bottom of their group, but then when you've got a group consisting of Sporting, PSG and Atletico Madrid, it's going to be difficult to pick up points. Munich, of course, first in their group at the moment. And we're back to our own group. So, there we go. That is the state of play in the Champions League. Next time, let's have a look at what's coming up on the horizon. I don't think we'll come back for the Wolves match. Uh, although, this being Friday, it does mean that there's probably uh, a few hours until I record the next episode. So, uh, I guess let me know what you want to see. I'm leaning towards... Let's have a look at the shed schedule. I'm leaning towards coming back for... Who don't we play very often on here? I don't suppose we do play Wolves very often. We played West Ham. I remember playing West Ham a couple of times. Maybe we'll come back for Watford. Yeah, I think we'll say Watford. Okay, so until next time when we come back for Watford... Oh, hello, what's going on here? I was just scouting, don't worry, never mind. That will disappear by the time we next come round. Until next time, where was I? Yes, that's right. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. Take care. Have a lovely weekend. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.